Hello and welcome to Mickey Art and this is the third and final pour of this series. Um, for those of you that have watched the last couple of days um, you'll know that um, this brown colour around the sides is the colour that I have been using for the last two paintings and I've still got some left and I want to play with it and it's fun. So <laughs> I am going to play with it. What am I going to do with it? I'm actually going to tip it all into one cup. The cup I was using before. And I'm going to um, do a flip cup. So we'll have done um, triple spiral. Well, five kind of, but triple really. A triple spiral, a single spiral, and then a flip cup with these colours. And these colours are all based on raw sea uh what did i say it was i can't even find the container now where is it there it is raw umber this is the base and we have white we have iridescent medium we have yellow ochre um and gold mixed in so, um, yeah, let's see what else we can make. Bit of white. Um, this one, I believe, yep, this one is just um, raw umber and white. I've got no plain raw amber. Oh, I might be able to get a couple of spoonfuls out of there. There you go. There's some whole raw amber. And this one is the raw amber white and iridescent medium. So get that one in there. Um, this one is yellow okra and raw umber and a bit of white I think this one's that one but with gold mixed in let's put some more white in there um, kind of throw in just a touch of just plain raw Yellow okra. Oh, use it up. There we go. This one is the one with the gold in it again. This one's quite a light, just raw umber and white. So as you can see, it's kind of like just really three colors and a bit of iridescence thrown in for good measure. Talk about throwing in some iridescence for good measure. Where's my iridescent? Here it is. Uh, I need a stir stick. How thick is that? It's too thick. Let's put a little bit of water in there. Now this is purely just the iridescent medium from Reeves mixed with Floetrol and water. Just as I mix all my other paints. Um, and it's kind of a white iridescency. So let's pour a whole chunk of that in there and scrape out this pot that's got the gold in it the gold and yellow okra right that's all my pots empty let's cover up the iridescence so we don't end up with 
anything splashing into that because we don't want that and let's see if we can scrape a little bit more gold out of here just pure gold pure gold which normally sinks so it should have been on the bottom so it could have been coming out on the top and that will do it awesome we got a nice big cup and there's already some action going on in there even though there's no i actually wonder if i put some silicon in the gold so there may be some a small amount of silicon in that one that was had gold mixed into it so streak of iridescent through there that's cool let's straighten the cup out and put that around the edges so that they know that it's going to make it all the way to the edges And by wetting the edges like this, it'll help the the paint run as well. Um, and not get all caught up in itself and lose quite so much of the beauty that's sitting on the top there. Grab some of this off the bottom too. Because it's all the same paint. All right. let's do this so somebody else had mentioned that they have problems holding on to their record um i'm trying to get rid of those air bubbles before us um and was asking me how i did it um this is my technique I hold the record using that first knuckle of the finger so it kind of becomes this rounded grip like this all right yeah there's definitely silicon in there look at those cells that came up when I torched it how's it getting any better woohoo maybe it's in the yellow okra Right over the edges there. Let's bring it back. Wow. Hee <laughs> hee. That's cool. I like that. That's those cells are beautiful. Wow. Alright, take the gloves off. And get the torch out again because there's lots of e-bubbles. I think I'm seeing some lumps as well so I'm just gonna do a quick lump check once you've once you've torched it like this you can then anything that's left looking like a lump is probably a lump I have a feeling I'm going to really like this little iridescent river that's going through here. <laughs> that's exciting. I'm glad I put that in. Okay, lump check. Still got more bubbles coming up. Bubble. I'm just 
using a little push pin. Gonna get you down and show you this close up because it's awesome. Okay, I've dropped the color a little bit, just the brightness a little bit, just so that shows a little bit more accurately the color I'm seeing. But then we go brighten it back up again so you can actually see. Look at these awesome cells! They look. You know, they look like muscle shells, the colorings. There's some beautiful stuff in here, guys. Some really subtle stuff and some really bit bold in your face stuff. And then you've got the iridescence shining through. Yeehaw. I'm loving it. Let's see if we can get that to, to focus. Nope. I like it. I am looking forward to seeing this once it's dry. Look out! Look at that boldness, and then right next to it, it's super subtle. <laughs> it's so cool. Sorry about the reflection. Maybe it's a bit better. Okay, let's does it get any better than that? What else is possible? How much fun can we have today finding out what else is possible? And uh, I look forward to showing you this dry in about five, four, three, two, one. It's all dry and looking fantastic. Um, it's got that Dream of iridescence going through it, which is super cool. Wee! And then it's got these all these really cool cells. I really like this one. I'm not a fan of the colour. Probably wouldn't have it in my home, but I really like the cells. They're so cool. They look like mussel shells, oyster shells. It's got some really pretty bits, some really pretty bits. And the iridescent cell just there is so cool. I like that one. So I'm super happy with it, super excited about it. And that's our third brown pour in a row. I promise there's different colors coming in the next videos. Um, and hey, if you want to join us on acrylic pouring for fun, we'd love to have you join us and share what you've been creating and contribute to each other. And um, if you are interested in making money doing what you love, then come and join the 5,000 subscriber free webinar I'm holding next Saturday, New Zealand time, which might be Friday, Europe and the States. Um, and links for all of those are in the description thanks for joining me how much fun can you have doing what you love and how much of that energy can you take into the rest of your life so you can have more ease more joy and more glory i adore you have fun bye bye